Hello everyone, welcome to UDP Analysis. Today lesson going to explain about MTR network utility. My trace route is a tool that combines trace route and ping, which is another common method for testing network connectivity and speed. In addition to the hops along the network path, MTR shows constantly updating information about the latency and packet loss along the route to the destination. This helps in troubleshooting network issues by allowing you to see what's happening along the path in real time. MTR works by discovering the network path in a similar manner to traceroute and then regularly sending packets to continue collecting information to provide an update, updated view into the network health and speed. My trace route initially it was called Matt's trace route. It was developed by Matt. Later it was called MTR like my trace route. In this lesson, I'm going to explain about MTR results, how to read and understand MTR result in the right way. In networking world, most common problem I could come across People misunderstood the packet loss and they wrongly interpret the result. Let's begin. First example will go with no packet loss scenario. There is no packet loss. I hope you may aware MTR utility can be installed in Windows, Mac, any Linux variant. It's open project. Let's go with no packet loss scenario. On screen, you can see there is a MTR result. So here, I'm, I did MTR to example.com from my machine. So here, it crossed almost 20 hops. There is no packet loss. The first two column are very important. The public IPs, which is internet path. The second column, percentage of packet loss. The second column indicates all zero, which means there is no packet loss in between source and destination. The second scenario, let's move on to the second one. In this scenario, packet loss supposed to be there, but it was due to ICMP limitation by internet path routers. Let's go to the second example. This one taken MTR between source and destination from my machine to example.com. The second column you can see the packet loss. So the packet loss you can see some value between source and destination. But if you see the last uh, before three hops there is no packet loss. It was uh, indicated as zero then there is no packet loss but you may ask a question why this uh, second column having some packet loss like the third hop fourth hop shows 39 78 percentage packet loss which indicates due to isp or or backbone isp routers might have icmp limitation due to that that shows as a loss but it is not actual loss you can ignore that you can compare the last four hops or last hop there is no packet loss it indicates zero value so there is no packet loss in it many people get confused with this result because in between result shows some loss but last few hops not showing any loss which means as i said it was due to icmp limitation there is no problem in the path and only MTR you know failed to receive the ICMP return packet due to ICMP limitation so you can ignore that and it consider there is no packet loss in between source and destination okay then how that MTR looks like when there is a really potential problem in between from source and destination how that looks like let's move on to the third scenario how packet loss really looks like. So
so with packet loss in this capture you can see from source and destination almost same hop i did for example.com the last few hops you can see constant packet loss in the second column second column the percentage you can see last four four hops there would be some delay like 50 40 40 and 40 so this looks like potential problem at the destination isp or or destination infra which indicates potential packet loss in between source and destination in this case you need to complain about destination uh, service owner to investigate further this indicates potential packet loss between source and destination let's move on to few use cases primarily in mtr tool used in networking world to diagnose network connectivity issues between two different hops maybe it would be public or private mostly it would be public because in private icmp uh, trace route might be blocked in private network so public network it would really help between two different isp or source and destination to diagnose network related issues latency packet loss second one point out isp related issues and routing issues when you connect service from one country if that service taking to you to another country or you are seeing poor performance or more delay from your browser or application you are accessing high chances your isp wrongly routing uh, over internet to point that you can run mtr from your egress point by connecting your laptop or directly running from uh, Linux based machines present in the address point. This would help to identify what route it is taking and we can engage ISP to optimize the route. Third one, nowadays we people moving to cloud based solutions, software as a service, security as a service, cloud storage. When we get cloud based solution, when, when you come into issues like latency, poor performance, delay to troubleshoot such issues you can do mtr trace towards the respective vendor you can investigate mtr results this would really help to understand if there is any potential packet loss or infra level network issues existing the vendor who you who you are getting service from i hope this video informative would like to thank you for our viewing thank you